If you are still facing photo induced hyperpigmentation after applying sunscreen, this video is for you. Everyone, today I am going to review the sunscreen that has set a new benchmark in the cosmetic industry, which is the La Roche Posay UV Mune Hydrating Cream and the La Roche Posay UV Mune Tinted Fluid. The UV Mune range introduced a new UV filter in the market, which is Maxoril 400, that took 10 years of research to develop. For this, we need to first understand the different categories of sun rays. First, we have UV rays which can be divided into UVB, UVA2 and UVA1 that includes the very long UVA region which is from 380 nm to 400 nm. Most sunscreens present in the market can efficiently filter UVB and UVA2 but UVA1 only to the extent of 380 nm, the long UVA region which is from 380 to 400 nm often remains uncovered. Currently, Mixoral 400 is the only filter that provides high protection in the long UVA region. Next, we have visible light. The blue light band of visible light, which is from 400 to 420 nm, can cause several pigmentary disorders in the darker phototypes. Majority of the sunscreens provide no protection against the high energy visible light. To understand the importance of long UVA and HEVL protection, let's first understand the Fitzpatrick scale. The Fitzpatrick scale classifies skin into six categories on the basis of melanin present in the skin. Visible light has shown to cause more sustained pigmentation in the darker skin types even in comparison to the UV rays. Iron oxides are one of the very few ingredients currently proven to actually prevent from high energy visible light. Which is why I decided to get the tinted variants first because it not only has Mixoral 400 for long UV but also iron oxides for high energy visible light protection. The tinted variants have 8 UV filters including the Maxoral 400. For the fluid, you have to first shake the bottle before using. I will be using 1 8 teaspoon of fluid on one side of my face and 1 8 teaspoon of the creme on the other side of my face. The fluid is very light and runny in consistency, almost like water. It gets absorbed very fast and you don't need to waste a lot of time blending in the sunscreen. This is definitely not one of the tinted sunscreens that also provide coverage. The coverage that it gives is very sheer and you can still see my dark spots and acne through it. Both the products are slightly darker than my skin tone but I honestly don't mind looking darker except for when it is due to sun damage. Finish of this is definitely not matte but oily to a little glowy. The hydrating cream is also very lightweight and easy to apply but takes just a little more time to blend in comparison to the fluid. Also the finish of this is less shiny as compared to fluid. The coverage it provides is slightly better than the fluid but it's still very transparent and you can still notice the dark spots and acne through it. Both of these sunscreens have a very skin-like finish. The versions that I have tried do contain fragrance but I have never faced any adverse effect with these products and none of these have ever caused eye stinging or irritation even while directly under the sun. All sunscreens under the UV Mune range do contain alcohol. The fluid tends to sting and burn a lot if applied on damaged skin barrier. I have tried this while using tretinoin when my skin was very dry and flaky and I could not tolerate the burning sensation after using this. I am guessing that is because of the very high content of alcohol, but nevertheless, it never caused any adverse reaction in the form of acne, redness, or even dryness. But the cream applied beautifully even when my skin barrier was damaged and my skin was dry and flaky. And this is how it looks directly under the sunlight. All the sunscreens under UV Mune range are water resistant, sand resistant and sweat resistant and trust me they won't budge even if you are sweating profusely. The best thing about these sunscreens is that they have reduced my 
my hyperpigmentation, sun tan, acne marks to a great extent. Even though I was not using any products targeted specifically towards reducing hyperpigmentation while using these, and also I am not someone who applies sunscreen very diligently. I mean, I like sunscreens, but I like to read the signs of sunscreens. When it comes to actual application, I'm actually very clumsy. So even with the sort of irregular application, this has done a very good job with reducing hyperpigmentation. So that's a very good plus for these sunscreens. One another sunscreen that I have been trying and it has tremendously helped in reducing my hyperpigmentation is the Neos Pigment Correct by La Roche Posay. Also share this video with other brown skin people who are currently struggling with any sort of hyperpigmentation.